Welcome to WWDC and today I'm going to teach you some table views in the Swift and Xcode. So what you want to do is create a single view application. We'll call it tables. Of course Swift, iPhone, core data, uncheck. Actually check it because we are going to do core data later with these tables. Actually let's call it then nodes. Just because we are going to use core data so it's easier. And now what you want to do is go to the main that storyboard. Wait until it loads because I'm having some things also loading at the same time. And okay, actually, that's it. So we're going to delete view controller. You can find or you can search table, table view controller, put it here. We're going to select for portrait iPhones. So it's this configuration and we are going to delete this class because actually we can stay but it can stay but we are going to rename it uh, actually it's, we are going to make it so it's not the view controller anymore it's subclass of table view controller but so it's easier, I'm actually going to create a new class, I'm sorry that I'm doing all this, but now it's right table view controller. It's easier because we have all these things and change to notes table view controller. Controller and now what you want to do is let's go. We will load nothing here. Do you receive memory warning? Nothing. Number of sections. We want to have one section because we want to have some rows. So here one. Now, number of rows in section. We are going to create a new array. Notes. We are going to make it be an array. And then here we are going to go notes is equals to NS array. And if you wonder how I did this, it just array and just something, type it and delete it. And then we're going to have objects. We're going to have like, let's just have first row, second row. Now number of rows in section we are going to have notes count. Next one is cell for row at index path. This is what we want to have. Let's just so we are going to do cell dot text label dot text is equal to notes object at index index path but it's just an S index path so we need to have a row it's a row property and we need to have it as an S string because it doesn't accept any object <coughs> so now it's building and running and that things And now, as you can see, here there is our notes app. And we failed to do something. And that is because we don't have any storyboard entry points, so we just drag this to view controller. Because it doesn't know which one is the first one, because we deleted the first one. And now it's building again. And 
it's running but we have an error and the error is let me just expand this or no unable to decure cell with identifier reuse identifier must register a nib or class for the identifier to connect or prototype cell in a story point. We are not going to do that for now. For now we are going to do like this. If there is no cell actually I don't need this. Sometimes I forget that I'm in Swift. Still equal null. Oh, we hit this. Oh. Uh, let's just for now, for the first, we're going to go cell is equal to UI table your cell. Style UI table view cell table view cell style dot default. We could do this just by default and reuse the identifier notes row. So we create table view cell, we set its text label text to in the first row, first row, in the second row, second row, and we then return it. So this should work, and as you can see, we have the first row and the second row. And this is the basics of the... Uh, this is basics of table views. In the next lesson, we are going to learn how to dequeue cells, so for now, when we scroll down, every time it creates a new cell. But if we dequeue it, once, let's just... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Let's just go like this. Let's make them all first row. It's going to be second because I changed it later. But oh, we need some more. Let's go like this. And what we should see is more than a whole screen of. Yeah, so every time I scroll, it creates a new new uh, new row and as you can see the memory is just going up I can do this all day long but why is it doing this? of course Apple is smart and smart iPhone is smart so it's going to reduce the memory use because it sees that it's not using it but we can make it use even less memory if we dequeue so it decues uh, when some row goes off the screen, it moves at the top of the screen when I'm scrolling up, and it's still there on, on the new row. So there is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There is 13 objects only, actually 14 if we do it like this. So there is only that much objects and now there, every time you scroll, it creates new ones. So that's about it. I'm going to teach you that in the next tutorial and I'll see you then. Goodbye.